Uh, hi friends, today I am going to discuss a little bit about uh, Guillain-Barre syndrome. Uh, Guillain-Barre syndrome is an autoimmune condition. Generally, patient in about 70% of patients with uh, Guillain-Barre syndrome are associated with the previous infection, uh, most commonly with Campylobacter jejuni or some any viral infections and some immunity produced against these infections either bacterial or viral uh, they results in the demyelination they acts on squan cells they acts on squan cells of uh, our nervous system they destroy uh, this causes demyelination inflammation of some peripheral nerves peripheral nerves this is a symmetric ascending muscle weakness or paralysis. This is the most differentiating feature in Guillain-Barre syndrome. Symmetric ascending muscle weakness or paralysis. As I already said, it affects peripheral nerves mostly. Peripheral nerves are get affected. For example, say our lower limbs got affected. Lower limbs, these patients lower limbs start symptoms starts first there it it slowly ascends fr from downwards to upwards it starts in the peripheral region and die and slowly starts spreading towards our head side um, and this is also known as acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy this is a self-limiting condition most commonly um, then coming to the findings as a result of some autoimmunicity our in CSF our protein count will be raised and cell count will be normal protein counts get gets raised and cell counts will be normal this is called albuminocytological dissociation of CSF as I already said protein content in CSF got increased there is a marked tendency for papill edema papill edema may occur in these patients as the CSF protein levels got raised we may see some autonomical dysregulation like um, any cardiac irregularities hypertension or hypotension hypertension and hy or hypotension are also seen that's it thank you please subscribe if you like the video